Hi all, welcome to another day of Downy Fly Time video production. I've been absent for over a week, been busy doing other stuff, uh, some life stuff, uh, try to stay safe, getting frustrated like all you guys, not being able to go out fishing. So here I'm going to be sharing my favourite flies and methods of tying them to make catching fish better for you anglers around the world and making tying these flies a bit easier and simpler with my, my easy to understand explanations as I've been told. So I'm quite happy that a lot of people are giving me some nice feedback. Uh, all the flies that I'm tying, I personally do use. Uh, they're there to catch fish, they're not there to catch the anglers. At the end of each of the videos there will be a wee list of materials required to tie the flies, just in case you missed it during the video. And also I'll link to my online shop where you can or cannot purchase the flies and materials required to tie these killer patterns. It's your choice. Uh, I hope you all enjoy the video, you pass the word on about my channel and get your mates to come and subscribe, have a look, if they like it they can stay, give me a thumbs up at the end of the video, hit the bell, it's important to hit the bell, come on, you know, more subscribers the better for me. So today I'm going to be tying just a, a, a hopper, it's, it's just a style of hopper that I've been using for a long time, you can tie it with different materials, but I'm tying a yellow oil version today. So in, in the vise I've got a B100 Camasan, that's a size 12. It's barbed, you can use my own hooks, you can use whatever kind of hooks you want, you can use check them barbless hooks, you can just use a grub hook. I like tying hoppers on grub hooks as well, because it kind of makes them sit, you know, hang in the water. So this one's not going to have any hackles involved. So as I say, I'm using a B100, a lot of people don't really like them, but I like them. I've had big, big fish on Loch Leaven with them, really big rainbows. Uh, we're going to be using some yellow primrose thread, this is a wisp. 14.0. I should be able to get it back in stock quite soon, uh, within the next fortnight I would think. Uh, I think I've still got some spools left, but I've not got that much. For the body, I'm using a pastel peacock eye, stripped. But I've, I, I, you know, it's a yellow oil one. On some of these, if I'm tying a black one or a claret one, I'll have a fluorescent butt, but I'm not going to put a fluorescent butt on this one. Uh, for the thorax, fox squirrel or hare's ear, whatever you want to use, but fox squirrel just now. Uh, and obviously you can tie your own hopper legs if you've got the time. I know we've got a lot of time just now, uh, but I, I'm just going to use the pre-knotted ones. It's quicker, quicker for me just now, so I'm going to use the Veneard's pre-knotted ones. They're just natural. I don't really use the coloured ones very much at all. And then for the wing, I'm using some Hens CDC. I really like the hen stuff because it's nice, natural, and oily. Uh, and you know, I've got new bags in. That, that was a, I had a big five gram bag, and it, it, as you can see, it's kind of running done. So I'm glad I got some new stuff in. So on a size 12 hook, I would be using three feathers. On a 10, probably four feathers. On a 14, mm, get away with three sometimes. Two. Alright, so we'll get started here. So what we'll do is we'll run the, the thread down the hook shank. Alright, so I'm just going to run it round the bend and then we're going to go back up again. Alright, so I'll just go right down and right back up. Alright. And then back down again. Now, I don't know how you guys hold your bobbin holders, but I kind of hold it in a, in a cup. So I kind of get my hand in a cup shape. Try to get it on the video, but it's not working very well. And I just kind of use it that way, rather than gripping too tight. Now I'm going to take it back down, but I'm not going to go right back down to the bend, because I want to put the, the, the strip quill in. I've already pre-stripped this one. I've used my trusty Stadler slash copy Stadler rubber. Uh, and I've not went for the eye bit, I've went below the eye, so it's quite far, it's a wee bit further down, so it's a wee bit thicker. So we're just going to catch it in, and the reason that I never went right down was because I want to catch it in and, and wind backwards. So it kind of fills that gap, if you know what I mean. Right, so let's go back up again. Run the thread right up. And I'm going to stop just at the thorax and go back down just until I get to where I started that and then I'm going to go back up again. 
that's giving me a better shape to the body. Right, so I'll get back up there. Now we're going to wind the strip coil on. Now I'm not doing touch and turns, I've got a little gap there. Not that much of a gap and it's not as pronounced because I'm not using black thread. Because the thread's almost the same colour. But you can see, you know, I know a lot of guys tie yellow, they just use yellow thread and then they just stick black thread around it and wrap it that way. This is the way I've always liked to tie it, to be quite honest. I mean, when it gets varnished, you'll see the difference. So, what I tend to do is do a batch of these things. So, I'm going to finish that. And I'm going to varnish it. Right, so just clear varnish. Nice and thin. Don't want it running. You could do two coats if you want. I tend to just do one. Because it's like, it's like one of them fly rods that you don't really like. Well, I don't like the, the unfinished carbon. Once it dries in, it's kind of got that rough edge to it. It almost feels as if it's ribbed. Which it is, of course. Right. So, that, that brightens it up and brings the colour out of it. So what I'm going to do is swap this over for one I've already done. The one that's already dry. So I'll put this one in as one I've done earlier. Right, so you've got that sort of shininess. So what we want to do is start the thread again. It really is a simple fly. Okay, bit of wax in the thread. I really do hope you're all staying safe. And. Oh, it's getting frustrating now. Weather-wise is nice some one day and then and you're like, well oh, I really want to go out fishing today, but you can't. Right, so I've dub, dubbed the squirrel on. And we're going to just pull it as we're putting it on, because that, that makes it spikier. Right, so if you, if you just rather than having to use a brush or a comb later on or pick it out, I like to just do that. Right, and just use my fingers. So now we've done that, we don't want to go too far forward because we've obviously still got legs to put in and the CTC. So I'm just going to take three legs off. Now these are double knotted but I'm not going to use a double knot. So catch it in. So I'm actually tying it in at the second knot. I, I, I don't like hoppers with big massive long legs. Once you start that they become a daddy long legs. Then get another three for the other side. And I'm not really pernickety about them sitting a certain way, to be quite honest. Same again, catch that in. Okay, and then just trim it off. So that's how it's got our hopper legs in. You can see there, they're kind of spidery like. But, ah, it's fine. So I'm just going to do a wee quick, quick finish. As always, because I want to be safe and I don't want the thread bursting and then all the legs going everywhere now that I've cut them. And the last thing is just the CDC. So we've got our three pieces of CDC there. And we want them just basically to hang over the back side, if you like. So I've just done a loop to catch it in. Right? So that's it. It's just caught in. And I'm going to go backwards with the thread rather than going forwards because I'm wanting to make sure the eye is clear and I'll just trim that bit off. Now obviously the last thing we want to do, don't do what I've done, I've just moved my bin from between my legs and under the table to the right and I just, I just threw the, the, the rubbish at CDC on the floor. <laughs> right, so that's it really and all we want to do is just double work finish. And clip it off. Okay. Then we'll just put a bit of varnish over that. Then for a wee last measure, I'm going to double check the eyes clear. I didn't get any varnish in it. Okay. 
Okay. That's it. It's a little simple hopper, but it's a wee yellow oil one. And as you, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure you will agree. It just looks so edible. And it, it works. It works really well. Uh, and it sits in the surface film, so it's almost like the, the nymph hatching, trying to struggle to get out. So it has a really good pattern. It's not for sitting on the surface. It's, it's for sitting uh, in the surface, in the surface film. You can tie it with a, a shuttlecock design as well, but I don't really like it with a shuttlecock. I prefer it like that, where it, it, it sits perfect. And you just see the big fish coming up and taking it. So I really do hope you all enjoyed it. I hope these are going to stay safe. Uh, I hope your life's not too rubbish just now, like climbing the walls and stuck in the house. Uh, so you can all follow me on my Facebook, which is David C Downey. And Instagram's Dave Downey Fly Fishing. Guiding sites Dave Downey Fishing dot com, which I hope I'll be able to take my clients that have booked me out guiding at some point soon. Don't know when. Maybe it'll be next year. Uh, and online shops www.fly-fishingworld.com so cheers for watching guys stay safe any questions just send them to me private message whatever uh, hopefully we're going to have a bit of light at the end of the tunnel soon i know england's going to get some stuff lit they're going to get a chance to get out i think uh, at the moment we're kind of still stuck here in scotland some of my lucky mates in america are getting to go fishing and golfing mr townsend uh, I think it just depends where you stay at the end of the day. So once again, enjoy, enjoy the videos. Pass it on to your pals. Give it a thumbs up. Hit the like button. Hit the bell button. Subscribe. And just get tying. And if you need any help with anything, I uh, says just ping me a message. So stay safe, guys. Take care. All the best. Over and out.